Do you have a Asus ROG Ally and you've been really wanting to update the BIOS, but you feel like it's a really difficult task and you had a PC before and you feel like it's pretty risky to update a BIOS and you're afraid to brick your Asus ROG Ally? Well, no worries. I'm gonna show you several ways on how you can update your Asus ROG Ally and you'll actually find out it's really not that bad. Now, Asus did release a new BIOS version called 331 just recently got released on the 24th of October, 2023. And it does have some really decent features, but I will explain that later in the video because I know why you're here. You're just here because you wanna know how to update your Asus ROG Ally quick and fast. And also, if you wanna check out the methods, I do have the timestamps right down below. And also, if you wanna know about the BIOS revision, it will also be in the timestamps. So let's go ahead and begin. The first thing you will need is your ASUS ROG Allies charger, which is the first and most important part. Reason why you need to have that charger is because your BIOS will refuse to update itself. The first method I'm gonna show you is pretty simple and easy, and you're gonna find out exactly how easy this is. But this isn't going to work for everyone, or maybe you want to go back to a different version of the BIOS. But right now, I'm going to show you the easiest method first. I'm going to start up your ASUS ROG Ally like you normally do. And I'm going to show you exactly where you need to go. Just make sure your desktop is fully loaded before continuing. Typically, I also like to use uh, preferably a mouse because it is much more precise. I love this Corsair M65 mouse. It is one of the best purchases to make on a mouse. And you're probably thinking, why would you get a mouse for an Asus ROG Ally? The real question is, why wouldn't you? It's awesome. The first method's really simple and easy. All you have to do is click the Windows button and you see my Asus. If you don't, just make sure you type it up here in the search bar, then it will pop up. Then you're gonna go into the My Asus application. Once you do, you're gonna see this welcome screen. Now, you're gonna see your Asus ROG Ally. It'll give you all your information. And then all you have to do now is go down to the Update Center. When you go to the Update Center, it's gonna look like this, and it's just gonna let you know about your settings, privacy notice, blah, blah, blah. If you wanna read it, go ahead, you can, but we understand what it is about. So you're gonna go down to Live Update, and the first thing you're gonna see is that your device needs to be updated. It has up to six different updates. But the most importantly is we're not looking for just the graphic drivers updates. We're looking for this BIOS. That's what it's gonna say is BIOS installer. So we're gonna install this one first because it is the most important. Why is it the most important? Because this can affect the functionality on your gameplay or when you're using it for regular usage or for just entertainment use. So you wanna make sure you have an up-to-date BIOS because it can affect your system drastically. So right now we're gonna go restart and it will automatically update the BIOS from there. Now that's not so bad, right? The first method really isn't too bad, but if you're running into issues where it's not downloading on the Asus Live Cloud, don't worry, I will show you the next method. So make sure you don't touch your system when it is in this process. Let the Asus ROG Ally restart. You're gonna enter the screen. You're gonna see a yes or no. It's just gonna let you know that you do have a BIOS update on the way. And typically you do wanna hit the yes button because we wanna get it done. We want the BIOS working. So all we have to do is click yes. And do not touch it because we do not want this Asus ROG Ally to turn into a large paperweight. Once the update is finished, your Asus ROG Ally will automatically restart. And if it restarts several times, don't worry. This is pretty normal when it comes to updating BIOSes. It can act pretty funky for a little while and then it will just start up as normal. Once the BIOS update is complete, it will boot right back into Windows. From there, you know the BIOS update is complete. There is also the wind flash method. This is also another option here if you want to see an actual interface. All we have to do is set this up. And then once we do, all 
Click yes. We want to open up WinFlash. Click next. And what we will do is we'll get the BIOS from the device because we prefer to get the BIOS file itself. And then from here, we could use that nifty SD card if you want. And it will tell you the BIOS information. Once you're done, it will let you flash the device. But what if you run into another issue? Say if the BIOS update had been unsuccessful. In fact, it's more common than you think, and maybe you've ran into it yourself. So you're gonna need a device similar to this. It has a SD card reader, and you can plug in another USB port if you want to store the BIOS information into it. So let's plug this in. If you're interested in any of these items, make sure you check down in the description box down below. It would be nice to use the actual SD card slot on the ASUS ROG Ally, but for obvious reasons, we know we cannot. And for some reason, on the ASUS ROG Ally, it doesn't allow you to use the micro SD slot in order to flash a BIOS. But that's okay, we're gonna fix that. So first thing we're gonna have to do is go to the ASUS ROG Ally website and go to the support page. You can always go down to the description box down below and I will have it provided for you. We're gonna go here to the support page and you wanna make sure to download either the Z1 Extreme or the Z1. Just make sure you know which model you have. If you know it's the more expensive model, you definitely have the Z1 Extreme. So what we have to do now is we're gonna to go to driver and tools up here on the left. It'll be right up here on the right. And then you're gonna to go to your model version of your ASUS ROG Ally, which is the most important one is the easy flash utility. So we're gonna download this. You're gonna open it up and we're going to copy it to the drive that we have available that is expandable storage. Whether if it's a portable SSD or you have a SD card, we're gonna install it in here. So let's remove this old BIOS here. This is the 317 BIOS. And we're gonna paste the new one. So after we have that established, we will boot now into the BIOS of the ASUS ROG Ally. And that's really simple to do. First, we're just gonna shut it down. Once it powers on, you don't have to let go. You could let go of the power button, but do not let go of the volume down button. Otherwise, it will not boot into the BIOS. Once you're over here, go to advanced mode and you're gonna go to advanced. And once you go into advanced, you're gonna go to the ASUS Easy Flash Utility so once we enter the flash utility, it looks like it ran right off the drive. So you're just gonna click A on this and click yes. And it's gonna ask you if you wanna update the BIOS. You're gonna click yes. And then it will start to begin the update. This is also a way how you can update the BIOS without using the easy flash utility in the software of the live update. So if this is your preferred method or you wanna do some sort of flashback, this is one of the best ways to do so. Or if the BIOS was somewhat corrupted and it was unable to install, this will also be a good option. Once the update is finished, the ASUS ROG Ally may restart several times. So don't worry about that. That is perfectly normal. All right, so the BIOS is uh, complete. Now, what's exactly different about BIOS 331? Well, it optimized the overall stability of the ASUS ROG Ally. So it's definitely a lot more smooth. And they also added the AMD HyperRX, which is practically supercharges ray tracing cores and clocks them at least 100 megahertz quicker compared to your average 
GPU. They also add enhancement for 1600 by 900 screen resolution and a bug that was preventing Sports FC 24 from launching. They also prevent another bug for Resident Evil Village from launching. And it also prevents the ally from recognizing any 8K 60 Hertz external monitors. That fixed a rare bug where the ally controls would randomly switch from gamepad mode to desktop mode under certain conditions. There's also a new plugin and an enhancement that aligns RGB brightness adjustment to work with the new code MCU315. So fam bam guys, I hope you found this content very useful. If you didn't make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you know anybody else who needs help with their Asus ROG Ally or is interested in it, make sure you share this video. And also, if you're not part of the big wonderful fam bam, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell and for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my X handle right here as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. So fandom guys, do you like these BIOS update methods? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.